Welcome everyone into my channel Everything PS. With you MD. Do you want to know how to move clips in a sequence? Then you are in the right place to be. Let's start. After adding clips to your sequence, you likely want to rearrange them as you develop your project. For this lesson, I'm working with the project file. 0304 move clips in a sequence. You can find that project file with the media associated with this lesson. Just double click on it to open it in Premiere Pro. Essentially editing is adding removing or moving clips in the sequence. It's common to discover your sequence would work better if you change the order of the clips playing. And it's look at some ways to move clips in the sequence. I got a very simple sequence here with five clips, one after another, and they have linked audio. If I take one of these clips and drag it over the top of another clip, because I have the snapping turned on, on the timeline, I know that this is going to line up at the very beginning of the clip, because it's jumping into position. When I release the mouse button, a gap is left behind, and the new clip has actually overwritten. It's laid on top of the original clip that was in this position. I just zoom in a tiny bit more, so you can see the names of those clips a little better. I'm gonna undo that with Ctrl Z on Windows or Command Z on Mac OS. I'm gonna do the same thing again, but this time I'm gonna drag over at the beginning of the clip, and now I'm going to hold down the Ctrl key here on Windows. This will be the command key on Mac OS before I release the mouse, and you can see. I'm getting these arrows on every track, indicating that something's going to happen on those tracks. So I'm releasing the mouse. Now and you can see what's happened. I still have a gap where the clip was before. But now the whole of the kids rolling a tire shot is intact. A Premiere Pro has inserted the temple from above clip. And these are really the two ways in which you can work with clips in the sequence. You can overwrite replacing the content that was there before. Or you can insert pushing everything out of the way. Because just as the kids rolling a tire clip has moved out of the way, so has the next clip people shelter from the rain. We've got the gap that was originally there. I'm going to navigate over a little bit so you can see it. And that last shot. Everything's moved along in the timeline, including the gap that the kid was in originally. Now I'm going to undo that and just scroll over a little so you can see all of these clips. The timeline panel has a link selection mode where you can turn off the linking between the video and the audio parts of clips for everything in the timeline panel. I'm just gonna turn that feature back on though so that everything is selected together. But you also have the option to unlink individual clips. So here for example I'm going to right click on this people shelter from the rain clip and I'm gonna choose unlink. Right away you can see the audio was deselected and this means if I want to, I can move just the video. You can see the durations of those clips were pretty similar. But I've got a tiny little bit left of the clip before it. So I'm going to undo. Now of course whether or not this clip is linking enabled, I can turn off link selection for the whole sequence. And if I want to, I can take all three of these and just dragging out a marking key or lasso selection to get the video from all three of these clips. I can drag them over to an appointed the timeline. This isn't gonna do much for my audio of course, where I've left it behind. And you can see this unlinked clip isn't giving me a warning. Because I've told Premiere Pro not to worry about the connection between the two clips, the video and the audio. But these later clips are still linked. And so although I've turned off link selection, Premiere Pro knows that there's a two second gap between the positions of these video and audio clips. So just undo again. Press Ctrl or Command Z and I will turn link selection back on. We can also break clips into pieces. This clip it was just a little too long for my purposes. So I'm gonna get this razor tool. And with the razor tool I'm gonna click right about the middle of the clip to separate it into two. Again I get my selection tool and drag the clip over to overwrite the beginning of that kid's rolling a tire shot. Now I have got a problem. If you're cool. I turned off linking for the clip. Which means when I clicked with the razor tool. 
I left the audio behind. I'm gonna undo again. And again. And now I'm going to select both of these. I'm gonna lasso across the marquee select cross them. Right click. And choose. Link. Now Premiere Pro knows that these two parts of the clips are connected. So I can go to the razor tool. And click. Go back to the selection tool. And now the audio comes with a video. Now you can move clips around in a sequence. In a number of ways. As long as you remember. Time moves from left to right. You can plan your sequence for maximum impact. Here we go we are done for today. Don't forget to sub, like, share, and leave your comment down below in the comment section.